How's it going guys? Welcome to another Minecraft shaders install tutorial. This one is for 1.10 which actually just came out a few days ago. So this is extremely soon. Credit to the developers of this mod. They have been doing an awesome job at updating the mod. But anyways, let's go ahead and get straight into it. What you're going to want to do is look in the description below. There should be a link for this download, but if you don't trust the link, as a lot of you didn't on the last install tutorial, you can find it at the Optifine website. So just go to Optifine.net, click Downloads, and you should see it there. If you don't, then that means you are installing this when preview versions are available, which is exactly like the day I'm uploading this. So you're going to want to click Preview Versions, and Optifine 1.10 will be there. Please keep in mind that you should back up your worlds before using this. This is a preview. This could crash or potentially corrupt your world. Uh, like I said, it's a preview. That might not be for long. I'm sure they'll update an official or you know release an official version soon, but just keep that in mind. So previews, you always want to back up your world, just like snapshots. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and download it. You're going to go to Mirror or Download for the AdFly version. I always do the mirror just because AdFly causes problems for me, and this version just skips past, so why not? You're just going to want to click the link, and that will download it to you, uh, to your computer, wherever you save it, really. And that will be a jar file. If you have a WinRAR icon here, you're going to want to right-click, open with, Java platform, right? Okay, don't do that yet, though. Open up Minecraft, and once it opens up the launcher, you're going to go to Edit Profile, and go to 1.10 save and start it this is only to get 1.10 installed it has to be installed beforehand so as you can see it is installed now I'll wait till it officially loads up so that way I can close it alright and now I can just double click the file or right click and run with Java as I said and install this will take just a moment literally not even a second off to find it is successfully installed that is great to hear open up Minecraft it'll automatically be selected for up to find click play and once it starts you are ready to go and I will show you guys that it does in fact have shaders installed but I'll kinda of show you how to get to it so just open it up and if this is laggy I apologize I'm recording this with OBS not fraps so uh, yeah I'm gonna just go into my sandbox world here and shaders should be installed yeah, they are already installed. Look at that. <laughs> but you're going to want to go to Options, Video Settings, Shaders, and from there you're good. It might say that you need to disable something first, so keep an eye out on whatever it says. If you have to disable it, it's one of these settings. I think it's uh, I think it's Smooth FPS or, no, Fast Renderer. I believe that's what it is. Uh, yeah, Fast Render is not compatible with shaders, so you have to have that disabled before. And real quick, I'm going to show you guys how to get shader packs you can actually find them here by the way uh, but to get shader packs let me go ahead and close minecraft you just want to go google them honestly shaders mod shader packs just like that and here's one shaders mod well this is an actual shaders mod I'll do the one that I actually have so that's the chocopic 13 shaders so for example I've googled it you're just gonna wanna download the version so let's say the light version and that should well, that's going to take us through another ad thing, but whatever, you get the point. Once you download it, you're going to want to go to your Minecraft folder, which you can get to by going to a Window Explorer and typing percent app data percent, and then just clicking dot Minecraft. And you're going to install them all into the Shader Packs folder. As you can see, this is where I have all of mine. A lot of you guys had questions based on this, so this is why I'm explaining it in this tutorial, as opposed to not doing it last tutorial. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is how you install Optifine slash Shaders mod into 1.10 Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing. I've got some awesome Minecraft content, and a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Let me know if you have any issues in the comments below, and I will try to help as best as I can. And hey, if you in the comments see that someone else needs help and you know how to fix it, feel free to jump in and uh, troubleshoot. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching.